The champ is here. The reigning defending UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Is he really here? Sugar Sean? Ah, you know yourself. You are what you say. You. What's up, Sean? How are you, man? Man, please have a seat. Oh my God, what an honor! Oh. Yeah, welcome. Did you see the news? I, I just saw it. Yeah. <sighs> they, finally, they finally. Did it. They did it because they knew you were coming on, so we could talk about it. Well, they did it because they had me coming out to New York doing a bunch of media stuff, and I was I'm like, trying to take all the credit. Sorry. And then they said, "You're going on an aerial show. We need to announce it." You didn't let me finish. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I no, I'm glad that. they announced it because I do have a bunch of media this week, and I was like, "What? What is there Sit to talk around. about?" Yes. You know, I beat up Aljo so long ago. It's like I'm over that. Yes, you know. So, so two ninety nine, March two ninety nine. Was there a date? No. Is or it March? location? No date, no location. Okay. I heard the March. Ninth? March, yeah, or but like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it is definitely March. Yeah. And it is Cheeto. It is. And you're the main event. I am, of course. I was just checking. Uh, you can't go down from from the last fight. No, of course. You know what I mean. Yeah, any chance it's in Arizona? <sighs> I have no idea, to be honest. You have really I really no don't. Idea. March I really is don't. usually the Vegas one. <laughs> I love Vegas. You know, I would. I, I love fighting in Vegas. I'll, if I could pick, I'd fight in Vegas every time. But you did like fighting in Boston. I loved it. That, was, that was cool. That was right. that was crazy. There was literally six Aljo fa fans there in the yeah. whole stadium. I counted them. <laughs> it was wild. Okay, so this is exciting. I appreciate Dana White. Thank you, Dana. If you're watching, thank you for doing this so we can actually talk and not dance around. How long have you actually known about this? I've known about this for a long time. Well, I, I called for the December, uh, right after the fight. I wanted right. to in December, but they already had that kind of plans, so... You know, they said early next year, and then uh, so I've known about it for a while, but uh, it just never feels official until Dana announces sure, it. Sure, sure. And so, is March good for you, or would you have preferred January or February? March is good. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to get in two next year, so March will be good. Okay. Yeah. Were you, you a little banged up after the fight? Because I, I was I listening to your show and you were feeling like oh. eh, a little couple uh, here. This this side of my hand from bouncing it off his head. Just, yeah. I think it was like thirty seven times I counted. Yes. And I should have been punching straight, which I did a couple times. But I was, you know, hammer fisting him. I had this little muscle strain just annoying annoying me for a couple of weeks. But uh, I feel good. Back's okay. It's 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 my back, but it's my rib. But that that's oh. uh, you know it's getting better. Okay. You know I'm able to start training here soon. So. Okay, so you haven't been able to train. I've trained, but not like a hundred percent, like full on training. Does training. that mess you up? Like More, your mind, mentally a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I I heard you and Tim shout out uh, the Sugar and Timbo show, or is it Timbo, Timbo Sugar, Sugar Show? Fuck. I always fuck that up. It's okay. By the way, shout out to Oat Milk as well. You an oat milk guy? I asked for almond, but uh, I don't mind. They said they only had oat. Wasn't going to complain. No, because uh, actually a friend of yours, Corey Sanhagen, gives me shit. Who? Not Chuck's. He's a big whole milk guy. Whole milk I, I actually use raw, like the oh, raw okay. whipping cream in my when I make my own coffee. Raw whipping like, cream? Yeah. No the, way. The whipping cream? Yeah. Oh, so good. You put that in? Yeah, just like a little bit, froth it, pour it over Thick. with a little bit of honey. Honey? Yeah, that's all you need. Tim is a big coffee guy, yeah, right? Yeah, Tim is. He's, he's opening up his own little spot right now. Coffee shop? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did, did he teach you about that? Uh, we kind of started making coffee around the same time. I've been using the same AeroPress for like five years, my little technique, and uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, almond or oat? What do you like better? Well, I, I like oat milk better, but I think almond's a little bit better for you. I don't know. Okay. But if I, if I make my own, I use the whipping cream. I got excited. I was like, wow, kindred spirits. I like oat. I like almond. Just depends, you know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure how I got on that tangent. Um, it's my first sip of coffee of the day. How do you feel? Didn't you just Didn't you just fly in? I was in? in Atlanta. Yeah. I was doing this prize picks thing. And uh, what is that? It was a prize picks tournament. Oh, it was like fantasy. a fantasy thing. Yeah. yeah. They had a crazy lineup: the Nelk Boys, Danny Duncan, Drewski. Okay. T it was yeah. They had uh, it was it was a crazy lineup. But yeah, so I was in Atlanta. Woke up at four. Sheesh. Took an early flight so I could make it here. I could have took a later flight. Yeah. Slept in. But I didn't. Fuck, what a legend. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was talking to Imran, your guy, mm -hmm. Sanibal. Yep. Uh, the gloves are incredible. We have the gloves that are coming out. Uh, where are the gloves? Right here. Actually, he said he was sending me a pair, uh, but okay. I think they got... There they are, right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Look at those. Those are incredible. Yeah, those are... Imran said that I... Oh, look at that. Look at that box, yeah, by the, the way. Box. He said, I owed you an apology because... Uh, you know, I was always saying, oh, you know, when you become champ, you're going to change. Oh, yeah. Still responding right away. I mean... Wait till I'm double champ. Well, that's when it gets. That's different. when it's gonna that's get crazy. When I okay, stop. that's when you stop responding yeah, or coming on the show early and uh, flying in and all that stuff. Well, yeah. so f please don't change. No, I won't. I it's won't. gonna happen eventually. Probably. But it, but it's just it's a byproduct of the system. You just become so popular. I mean, just look at your watch. I can hardly look at your face because it's just like glistening. Yeah. 
Yeah. What kind of watch is that? It's just a Rolex. I just asked for a, I got it custom, just iced out pink. I love pink, you know? Yeah, I love it too. How so. much does that go for? Depends. Is that is that a weird question? I I, I know nothing about watches. Well, I don't know either too because like they hook me up too. Oh, so uh, like, must be nice. What, yeah, you well, didn't I mean, have to pay for no, it. I paid for it. You I did. Okay. I, like, I still paid a lot for it, but I I don't know what the regular, you know, what the actual retail price is. I just bought a nice Richard Mill. Okay. That one. Uh, yeah. That one's sexy. Is it Mill or Millie? I think it's Richard Millet. Okay. If we're getting real. <laughs> But I honestly don't know. Okay, you're a big watch guy? Not really. Just, you know, you make some money and you make you just spend it on a couple watches. So I wouldn't say I'm a huge watch guy. Got a nice little collection, though. Sure. Do you have those things that you put it in? And I do. You do. The watch it. spinners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's when you know you're legit. Yeah, you, you gotta keep them ticking. You can't yeah, wear them yeah. all. I've tried. How, how is... <laughs> I seriously did. How, how is uh, life as champion? Is it better than you thought? Same as you thought? It's, I'd say it's same. I feel like I was champ. I right. feel like I've just kind of always been champ. Like ever since I started, you know, knocking out Eddie Wineland, and then I just felt like I was champ from then. So, what does that mean, really though? Ch- because you weren't actually champion. So, how did you actually think you were champion? I mean, I was the most popular guy in the division. Mm-hmm. I was the only one really anybody cared about in the division. So I feel like that's what champ is. Okay. It's like who who's the most popular guy in the division? It was me. It's been me for a long time. But uh, bullseye was on you. Yeah, I had the target on me. You know, I was taking the easy fights. But, uh, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, last year, October, Peter was ranked number one. Right. Beat him. Aljo was the greatest bantamweight of all time. Beat him. But the narrative still is taking an easy fight. You, th- you think that's still the case? I still see it. Really? Well, sometimes. You don't feel like you've gone the love after the Aljo fight? A little bit of both. A little love, a little hate. But You always get the hate. Yeah. It comes with the it's, territory. It does, it does. Listen, take it from me. They're coming for my I know, neck. I, know. I saw. Actually, you're quite friendly because in your video, <laughs> I know I was cap and I was gonna punk you, but I couldn't. No, got nervous. No, too big. Listen, it's intimidating. People when don't I, realize yeah, when I walked out. Oh shit. Yeah, people don't realize. <laughs> you were chill though. That was crazy. No, it's okay. Who do you think won? <clears throat> well, Every, everyone. Have you done a video on it yet? No, I haven't. Everyone else has done a video I on saw. it. I'm like, geez, Louise. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Okay, so you think I lost? Clearly. No, I didn't say. I think it was a tie. It was like Francis Tyson. It was like a close one, up for interpretation. It was close. I think we were actually both arguing two completely different things is the problem. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Chael knows exactly what Chael's doing. Okay, I thank think he's, you. Uh, yeah, he wasn't going to lose that. My whole point was Francis just got paid, he, and he did really well, and now he's going to get paid more. And then everyone who has been against Francis, actually, including, I mean, I played a clip. Yeah, of, you, uh, you thought uh, it was a mistake too, right? Yeah, I mean... I, I just think you want to be in the UFC. Or I, I personally was like, there's nowhere else to fight. Yeah, you can go get a big bag. But now what? I mean, he does have options because he did put on a performance. Very risky. Because if he would have went out there and Super lost, risky. it's like, do you really care to see him? But Fact. it worked out. That's it the did whole work point. Out. Yeah, it did work out. This dude yeah, escaped crazy. Cameroon on a raft, was put crazy. in the... Crazy. He's, he's, he's used to taking risks. Yeah. So why can't we just give him that... It worked out. You know? I was wrong. I ate my words. I didn't think it was, you know, the smartest decision. Um... But yeah, did I mean, you watch the fight? I did. I thought I, I thought Tyson won a boxing match. I thought he I thought he won, but I guess I feel like I'm like one of the only ones that think that. I mean, I think the traditionalists say, but like to me, this was such a weird fight to begin with. Yeah, the actual fight, it's very clear who won, right? The if this was a fight, if this was a fight between two people, who's the winner? Pride rules. Who's winning? Oh well, yeah, that. I mean, I feel like that can't even. That, that conversation is so. No, you know why? Just, because in 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 a in in a real world, Tyson Fury is not fighting a boxing debutante. So I apply completely different rules to this crazy fight. Yeah. And everyone thought that Tyson was going to smoke him, yeah. or he was going to carry him and make it seem interesting. Uh-huh. But that he, the dude, hung in there. Anytime someone says they're going to carry him. Like, even when Floyd fought Logan, like, Floyd carried him, like... Bullshit. No one's carrying anyone. They're trying to knock each other out 100% of the time. They said that about Floyd and Conor, too. Yeah, no, no. No way. You don't believe that? No. So it's not a pro wrestling, right? Yeah, no, they're trying to they're trying to finish each other at all times. There's no way you're going to go in there and risk it just to entertain the people that carry right. him. Yeah. So he didn't carry him, and then he got dropped in the third. He got rocked in the eighth. Yeah. It was incredible. It was incredible. He boxed very nice. It was impressive. His his gas tank was impressive. Because if you've never boxed before, and he's 37. Imagine, yes. imagine like uh, someone, a 37-year-old, starting jiu-jitsu for a couple of years and then competing against Gordon. Right. Like there would just be, it would, there's 0% chance. 
but I guess boxing is a little, you know, different. But yeah, it was impressive. It was cool. Did it give you hope? I, I've, uh, I've never, I know I'm gonna box someday, 100. percent Like I've, I've, I've had that that feeling of when I'm gonna be champ. Like I would have said that when I was 21, 22 on the Contender Series. Like I'm gonna be champ, and I, I know that. I feel that. Like I'm gonna box someday. I know that. I don't know who. I don't know when, but I'm going to box someday. So I, I had hope before, but yeah, it's, it's just like proves that. It's, it's Why do you want to do that? Table. I love boxing. I think it's a, you know it's a sweet uh, sport. Um, I just think it'd be fun. I think a boxing camp would be really fun. I think a, the build up would be really fun. I think it'd be you know it's just different. Yeah, I've, I've been MMA fighting for so long. You know, boxing would just be a cool little switch up, little change up. Easier on the body as well, right? Yeah, boxing is a lot easier on the body. Probably harder on the head. Right. You know, wrestling's probably easier on the head, harder on the body, or MMA, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I just think it'd be really fun. I think it'd be cool. Is and it true that you, you mentioned Haney to the UFC brass and they... I talked to him. Well, I just... Because I'm, I'm not lying. I've never... And maybe I should before I start talking shit to people. <laughs> I've never watched him or the Shakur... Stevenson. Guy. I've never watched a, one boxing match of them. They're I pretty good. Dante versus Ryan... Yeah. De, uh, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. That's the only time I've fought or watched Gervonta fight. So I've watched. So maybe I should watch them before I talk shit. But <laughs> so why why them? Just because they're in your weight class and you know. I just those are the three guys I've heard of. Right. Okay. So because you're not, we've talked about boxing. You you don't actually watch boxing. I don't right? like boxing. I watch Jake. Yeah. You watch, watch more influencer boxing. I watch Jake. I watch. I watch Logan box. But it's just like there's not. There's just something. This is not that interesting to me. It's not like an exciting big fight. Even the fight. technique, the yeah, I don't know. I don't know level. what it is. I I literally don't, even UFC like I watch big fights. I don't really tune in for you know anything that's not really big. So, but yeah, but I I think you know the UFC did say they're like those guys aren't really pay per view guys. They don't really sell. They said the Ryan um, Garcia's like if if any of them were ever to be a fight, like he would be the one that has the most potential for me mm-hmm. as far as just a big pay-per-view. UFC said, if it makes us money, we'll do it. Like if it's big enough, it's massive Conor Floyd. I'm not saying me versus anyone's Conor Floyd yet. Mm-hmm. You know, someday, four or five years, I go out there and do my thing like I've been doing. I think I could I could box one of these guys. But yeah, they said, uh, you know, it just has to take another superstar in the other, in the boxing world. And they, and they, you know, someone will pop up. Are, are you and Ryan cool? I think I don't think we have real beef, okay. but I know you know I talk shit about boxers, yeah. so they gotta hate a little bit. But it's just it's funny. It would suck. To, I would hate to just have boxing skills and not be able to like defend myself on the ground or something. Because then I feel like I couldn't talk shit. Because like the boxers can't actually talk shit to me. You know what I mean? They can, but it's like you can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? They could say in our be, world, I could fight all three of them in an M- in an MMA fight, not at the same time, right? But I could beat them all in one night in an MMA fight, right? Like, that's embarrassing. No, it's not embarrassing. I take that out. It's not embarrassing. But they can't... Like, they can talk shit on Twitter, but they can't actually fight. They can box like motherfuckers. Right. And I'm not even saying I'm going to go out there. I, do I believe I could beat them? Yes. Am I a little delusional? That's how I got here. Sure. And, uh... But, yeah, that would suck to only be able to box. Do, do those challenges excite you more than the challenges that lay ahead in MMA? Because it, to some people, seems so far-fetched? Um, you know, the Cheeto fight, I, I'm very excited about, like, the, yeah, I don't get much more excited about a fight than that. Really? Like, Why? I want that fight. It's just, uh, it's just, you know, perfect. I feel like it's just perfect timing. After that first fight, everyone was like, you got to get that rematch. You got to get that rematch. And I said, I'll get that rematch when I want that, when it's time, when it's time for that rematch, I'm going to call for it and I'll get it. I could have got that rematch whenever I wanted. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's not the right time yet. Now is the right time. So I, I'm, I'm just very excited about that fight. He actually texted me. Cheeto. Yeah. Come on. I swear. What did he say? Let me see. I didn't know you guys text. Yeah. I messed with you. He said, hey, bro. He spelled hey, H-A-Y, too. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> hey, bro, thanks for choosing me on your next fight. Our last fight, I got so lucky. It's crazy. You were kicking my ass, LOL. And I was just like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, like, he just acknowledged it. So, <laughs> Is that a DM or a straight text? Uh, DM, IG, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, uh, wow. I didn't know you guys were down like yeah, that. Like, you were cool. Yeah. I didn't mess you back. You didn't mess no. You left him on scene. Red. Okay. Yeah, scene red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scene. Um, So, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about that fight. Wherever it's at, hopefully in the States, um, it will be exciting. Wow. Um, do you think Cheeto Vera is fighting for the belt next if you're not the champion? No way. 
A boring ass fight versus Pedro. I didn't even watch it, and I know it's boring. You You've not watched mean? it yet. No. It was on your card. I was in the back meditating, yeah. breathing. But focusing, even after the locking fact, locking in. I just knew it was going to be boring. How do you know it's boring if you haven't seen it? <sighs> he's just he's just not like super exciting. Hmm. I, I mean, yeah. No, I don't want to talk too talk him down too much. You know what sure. I mean? Because I got to build a fight. Very smart. But I'm gonna smoke this dude. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna smoke this dude. Is this personal? I, I don't feel like it's personal because. I feel like if this fight never happened, I would be, you know, it wouldn't bother me. I've never lost sleep over this fight. I, I've truly am undefeated. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I've never, I mean, it's not personal. Could get personal. I mean, the build up, we'll see what you see what gets said, what happens. Um, but it's business, exciting business. But for, for me, you're the two most popular guys in the division with your own fan bases. So it's perfect. I agree. It's it's the best fight to make at 135 right now. There's definitely other guys like Henry. Uh, no, Henry. In, in, in you, I would say in the mix, right? Corey, Henry, uh, Corey Marab, sure. uh, Umar. Sure. Henry. I would say he's in the mix. No. No. Really? No. Coming off a title fight. He lost. Yeah, I mean, I, it depends. I look at. I just he's just so you think short. He's, I just don't. I can't picture like. I just don't get it. You think it. he's so far in so back of the far, line? Yeah. Like you put him behind Marab. Yeah. If, I mean, he if he goes out there and beats Marab, that's different. Are they gonna obviously. fight? I thought I keep seeing that. I'm oh. Keep hearing that on on socials. And right. Stuff. If I feel you're, like I've seen it like three different times. Really? I, I mean, it would Marab make sense. Henry in works. In they the probably works. put it on our card. That would I mean, that'd be make smart. A lot of sense. Yeah. Who, who would win that in your opinion? <laughs> That's actually a, that's an interesting fight. Henry is good. He's really good. I mean, he's not. He's a great fight. Yeah, he's great. And I told him I just, and I still extend extend this invitation. If you want to work on some defensive wrestling, I know Aljo took you down four times and he tried to take me down twice and couldn't. But if you want to work, let me know. I'll, I'll show you some shit. Come to the gym. Yeah, I'll show him some. Do you ever run into him? I don't know how close you guys are in Arizona. Um, I've never ran into him. No. I think I've seen him at an airport once a long time ago. You know what? I, I did actually see him at the airport. I was in first class, and he walked right past me. Into the back. I'm not even kidding. I felt bad. I was like, God. Did you say anything to him? No. No, it's I just was tough. like, it's like yeah. awkward. Like, he was kind of like trying to hide. Yeah. So It's always tough. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so Cheeto would be the guy. Who, if you're Marab, are you pissed right now? This is official. You were holding out hope. I'm pissed if I'm Marab just because he looks like that. I would just be pissed if I woke up and looked like that. His nose is lower. Uh, my nose is kind of fucked up too, I'm not going to lie, but his is like... But I mean, shape. the resume would suggest that there's a case to be made, right? F for him to be next? Yeah. Yeah, I think Marab versus Henry would make sense. No, no, like literally next. Oh, like the guy fighting Cheeto? you in March. If it I'm delighted for Cheeto. I love Cheeto, yeah, yeah. so I'm not trying to make the case. But if you're Marab right now, do you think you should be pissed? Or would you say to him, hey, you need to promote yourself better. You need to have more exciting fights. You need to do X, Y, and Z to to be worthy of fighting me. I don't know. It's just, you just, some people like people, and some people just they are not interesting. But, he, I mean, it's definitely possible to get a title shot. I mean, boring people get title shots eventually after so many wins. So it's... But, yeah, me versus Cheeto's, I think, just the easiest fight. Simple. Like, mm -hmm. that one fight business right that makes the most money you think so well, i know so yeah 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 100 what do you what do you think this gets pay-per-view yeah yeah I'm, I'm excited. i mean this is obviously my first pay-per-view yeah. that i get so. oh yeah because you didn't get i hate I that get. by the way yeah i mean I, you sold whatever. you sold that pay-per-view in august 100 percent. i mean uh, the entire arena like i said there were six people there with the aljo that was crazy i've never even experienced anything like that I think the loudest part was "fuck you, Aljo." Like, and I remember that crazy. vividly. On the East Coast too. Yeah, crazy. And uh, yeah, how many does this pay per view do? I don't know. I'm excited to find out. I'm excited to. I've always like since I got in the UFC, I'm like, I want to be a pay per view star someday. Right. I want to be a pay per view star someday. And here it is. I think this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be big. Uh, what do you think Aljo should do? Um. I don't know. I like Aljo. He's a good dude. You do like him? Yeah. I don't. I've never. I've, I've really never said anything bad about him. Um, I think he goes up to forty five. Be super interesting. I think there's a lot of interesting fights up there at forty five. You think he's big enough for that? I think he, he, he his weight gets big enough for that. Um, you know, I'm probably one sixty right now. Like, I probably won't get over this. He's probably one seventy five. Like, it just doesn't make sense to go back to thirty five. 
um, for his health, for his longevity. I think, you know, I don't think, I think there's certain matchups at 45 that he could, you know, do good. What about Aljo versus, like, Brian Ortega? It's a sweet fight. Right. Um, but he'll probably go back down to 35 just because he's insecure and he wants to be stronger and bigger than these guys. Um, why else would he not fight at 45? It's like if his skills aren't there. His skills, he's good. Right. Not as good as me, but he's good. You know what I mean? He could go up to 45. I think he'd do, do fine up there. Would you ever do something like what Volkanovski just did? Take, Take a short nose fight? A title, like a big fight, but on 10 days notice, or what uh, Aspinall is doing. No way. You wouldn't do it? No. Why is that? I, I'm, a, I'm a performer, and I need to prepare. I'm not going to go out there. And, and who knows, maybe I will someday, but right now, like I just don't see myself doing that. I want to prepare. I want 10 weeks, 12 weeks. I need to be at home, dialed in, doing all my routines, locked in, 10, 12 weeks. That's what I want. What about replacement? Would you, like, let's say you're in Islam's shoes. Would you accept the 10 days out? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to do that. You got to do that. That was gangster of um, Alexander. Alex. Yeah, 100%. He's gangster. Um, But you would accept it because, you know, the most famous case is John Jones saying no to Chael Sonnen about two weeks before their fight way back in the day. Yeah, I guess. I guess it depends. Like, can can you redo the fight here in a couple weeks? Is it a couple months? Is it, you know, the opponent? You training for a specific guy? I guess it depends. Um, but I feel like I probably would if you're that close to a fight. Mm-hmm. It'd be hard not to. Yeah. Because I hate waiting around. I don't want to wait either. Um, I think most people would agree that the thing is, like, did Alex make a mistake? Alex was talking about afterwards, like, mentally he was struggling. Did you see that clip of him saying yeah. he was struggling? Yeah. And he had just fought three months before. It wasn't like he was out for eight months. Do you sympathize with any of that? Like, if, you, if you're going through a long stretch without fighting, do you feel... Like, even now you're talking about not being able to train your body was... Yeah needing to heal do you feel like you're going crazy if you're not doing that yeah a little bit i think i think it's just because you so for me anyway like it's so disciplined so focused for you know 10 12 weeks that it's just like an extreme level of focus and discipline that after that it's like what goes up must come down so you kind of lose like you fight and then you can eat whatever you want you can do whatever you want you go party with the boys i don't know if you know if he's partying or not but definitely you know you doing that stuff and uh yeah, I think it's just the the pendulum swings and you get you're really high on life and then you kind of come down and it's hard to get back on that routine and discipline. And then uh yeah, it just kind of affects your mind a little bit, but I think if I feel like for me as long as I can train hard and uh grapple hard, it really comes down to grappling hard. Like hitting mitts and stuff's fun, it's whatever, but just grappling live from the feet, smacking hands, wrestling, that shit's my favorite. Like if I can't do that, that's when I start going a little crazy. Mm-hmm. But like you, you have a moment like you did in August in Boston, the Monday or Tuesday after where you're just back to regular life. Is it is it hard to come down from that high? Um, a little, a little bit, not too bad. Like I, I was. It definitely helps having a little princess. My little yeah. baby just turned three. Wow. Like that, having that definitely helps a lot. Um, and I was just moving into. I have was moving into my little farm. I got so, right. you know, I was kind of keeping myself busy doing other stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's not. There's nothing to complain about. Like, we got millions of dollars, and you're, you know, you're, I don't know which car I'm going to drive that day. And uh, so it's like I could be complaining about other things. So it's just, uh, you just got to learn how to, I think it all comes down to being able to meditate. Meditate, quiet your mind, and know how to have a good, like, morning routine, a good night routine. And uh, that's how you kind of get your mind back on track. Easier said than done, though, for sure. I, I need to do this. I'm, I'm in desperate need of this. What would you suggest? How do I get on the horse? I, I mean, for me, what, the Waking Up app, Sam Harris, he's like this neuroscientist, walks you through meditations. This is like a 90-day thing or 50-day or whatever it was. It's just like introduction into meditation. And I, I did that a long time ago, and I feel like that kind of helped me get into a routine. So um, you wake up and you put this on? Yeah. You listen to it. I, not this one specifically every time, but that's how I started, the waking up app. And it was just like a, like a, I forget how long, I think it was 30 days. Okay. You do it every morning. I think there was like three minutes for the first couple of days. Then it's five minutes for the first couple of days. Then it gets to 10 minutes. So I do 10 minutes every morning. I feel like it really helps me kind of just start my day and uh, be able to, you know, think a little bit more clearer. Um but yeah, I would. I, I think that's like the recipe for being able to deal with anxiety, depression, all those things. I think it comes down to just meditation and being able to quiet your mind. Mm. And I think that's why I succeed so much in fights. I really, I just go somewhere else in, in the back. 
I just completely let let go of everything. I just surrender to the moment. I, I have a conversation with myself. I say, I'm just going to let my higher self take over. And I feel like it's hard for me to even remember the walkout or the fight itself because I feel like it's not even me. Wow. It's wild. So you're meditating in the locker room? Yeah, just breathing, following my breath. I mean, uh, the UFC did a, is doing a cool-ass documentary that's going to be, I think, released. I think it's actually going to be released next year, early next year, um, where they were following me around in, you know, before the fight, fight week, in the back. I'm excited to see that. Wow. Yeah. It was, it was really They're cool. so behind you. And, and people look at that as like a knock, but I think it's incredible. Like that they posted the entire finish. Yeah. It might have even been like the entire fight, like right after. The whole second round. Whole second round, yeah. yeah. Right after. Yeah, that was crazy. They never do that. No. On YouTube, on, so, on Instagram. Yes, yeah, on Twitter, Twitter, yeah. Or X. They'll take that shit down right away because yeah. it was just on pay per view. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. We're not, I mean, I'm not even supposed to technically post it right. on my social medias, but I'm like, well, it's everywhere. So. Right. But yeah. That was crazy. I think it, that moment deserved it, though. Like that moment. Yeah, it was, was. It was huge. Yeah. Well, especially because you have been on the radar for so long. But so I'm wondering, like, for someone who thought he was the champion for so long, to now be living it, to actually be living about the thing that you were dreaming of. That's that's an intense thing, right? I just and, I literally just feel like a normal dude. Like normal. If I, nothing's changed. No. I feel, if I like the only thing. Well, even before, like, if I'd go into public or go to a club or anything, I was. A, I was referred to as champ when I walked right. in. Like everyone called me champ for years. Now that I'm champ, it's just like, still, it feels, I feel like just a normal dude, especially when I hang out with all, all my buddies, you know, they're roasting me, giving me shit, talking to me like just a normal dude. Like I don't feel like I hang around people that are just like, think I'm cool, you know? Especially Tim. Right. You know, Tim definitely, he just treats me like a, you know, normal person. Uh, I guess what I was referring to is like when you think of something, in, like when when do you think was the first time you thought of the idea of being UFC champ? How old were you? That's crazy, because uh, I don't think I've ever even told this story. I think I was, I was like seventeen, eighteen. This was before I even watched the UFC. Like I knew what the UFC was. And I started kickboxing. I started training a little bit, and I was like, okay, maybe like so delusional. Like I'm gonna be UFC champ. Never even had an MMA fight at this time. I think I was seventeen years old, and I watched this show on Netflix called The Secret. You ever seen that? Yeah. And Wait, I, like the movie or the, the, the... Whatever, like where you just think it and... Okay, like yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Pretty sure it's called The Secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went in my base, basement, and I guess I meditated on it or whatever, but I, at the time, I just... I went out there, put a blank, like made a little fort, turned off all the lights, pitch black, and I just saw, like, me winning the belt, which is so weird to even think about because wow. I didn't even have an MMA fight yet. And uh, so that was, like, the first time I ever thought, like, I could be champ. Yeah, you 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 never even been in a fight. I kickboxed. I had kickboxing, okay. and I was like, because I I wanted to be famous for what like, I wanted to be rich. Wanted to be famous. I just didn't know what I was gonna do. I wanted to be in the NFL. Realized real quick that's not gonna happen. Um, so I was like, and that was I, the that was the first dream. That was the first dream. Okay. NFL, NBA, like one of those. I love sports. Um, but then I was like, okay, I went. I would kickbox. I was like four and zero kickboxing, couple amateur boxing fights, knocking dudes out when I was like sixteen years old. I was like, oh damn, this came kind of natural, and it was fun. And I was like, well, I have one plan. Like I'm gonna figure out how to just make fighting. I thought I was gonna kickbox at first because I hated wrestling, hated mm -hmm. jujitsu. Wouldn't even go to the classes. Jujitsu would end, and then there's like kickboxing. I would get there a little bit early, and they were all in their geese, and I'm like, that looks so stupid. And uh, so I never went to that until I moved to Arizona, really. And then, uh, so I just thought maybe I'll kickbox. Um, but even then, I, was, I don't know why. I was so I was so delusional thinking about, yeah, but it worked out. Why didn't you go down the kickboxing path? Why didn't I? Yeah. Um, Is that Cheeto? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why I didn't go down the kickboxing path. That's a good question. More money to be made in MMA. They're, they're maybe definitely, you realize that. I didn't even think about kickboxing money or I guess I just only had seen like the UFC. I never really seen like there was a kickboxing. I'm from, you know, Helena, Montana too. Like there's no kickboxing uh, stars or anything right. or even MMA stars. Uh, I don't know. So weird thinking about trying to think about what I was thinking about. Back yeah, then. yeah, yeah. I just liked performing. I'd fight three times a month in Montana sometimes. Like we, we could fight every weekend. And I just loved performing. I've always wanted to be, just be a performer, whatever it was. Um, I, I'm taking singing lessons now.
For real? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking embarrassing, What bro. do you mean? I'm Why? dead ass. Why? You want to be uh, a no, singer? I, I definitely will never sing publicly. Okay. But I I don't know what it was. I guess I, I was going a little crazy. I'm like, I need to do something. I want to do something. Singing's cool. I've always thought singing. I think everyone wishes they could sing. Sure, right? sure. And uh, so I find this girl on, on uh, this random app. Or, or no, like, uh, I Googled like singing lessons near me. It's in this lady's apartment. I walk in and just have done three classes so far. It's so embarrassing. Does she know who you are? She didn't after the first one. And then she was asking some questions. And I was like, oh, I have to go to New York. Like, because I was yeah. we were scheduling out our schedule. And then she's like, oh, why are you doing that? I'm like, oh, I just got to go do some like media stuff. And then she asked. So she found out after the first session. Uh-huh. But it is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my life. What kind of singing? Just like singing like is she trying she's doing the la, 30 la, la, minute la, la, lesson la, la. yeah trying to find like a little tone oh uh, yeah this is amazing voice. it was so embarrassing i was sweating <laughs> like i was like i was is it just you two yeah okay i would never do it with anyone else give give us like a preview no, what does I it sound like yeah, i gotta give it i gotta get six, six months but i told myself i'm like i'm just gonna keep I, every time it comes around it's once a week i always want to just cancel or not show up but i just like i'm just gonna do it and it's so odd it feels so good after like even if it's embarrassing and i suck and i but if there's something about doing something you really, really don't want to do, and that's really hard and embarrassing, that feels good. And that and it, it made me realize when people do jujitsu for the first time, when they're like, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so scared. I'm like, why? Like, just go and do it. But I get that feeling trying to go to sing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Would you ever come out with like a rap album or something? I know your friends. The only would. way I would ever do it is if I actually thought it was sweet and the chances of that happening are very slim to none. I just can't. I don't, I don't have that so in So this yet. is strictly something you want to do for internal purposes. Yeah. 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 I'll maybe kill a fucking karaoke someday with okay. the boys. Like, that would be kind of fire. You sing a song. You come out to it. You no. walk out your own song. No, I got my song. Yeah, I know you I got, got your song, song, but like it's been done. I'll Tyron Woodley. Song. Oh, that'd be cool. No, I mean, but yeah, no, so I did that. That was really embarrassing, but it felt good to uh, just do something I didn't want to do. Yeah. I don't even know how we got there. There's a great lesson to be learned there. Um, well, I mean, I guess your whole life you're kind of doing things and, and you're putting yourself out there. You want to be famous. You recognize you want to be famous. Do you know why you wanted to be famous? You just felt yeah, like... girls, 100%. That was it. It was I just that. I feel like it, was, it had to have been that. Like, that's why I started fighting in general. Right. Yeah, just get chicks. It was just that. I, I, but were, you, were you having trouble getting girls before you were competing? Well, or? I was 16, so I was starting to get girls right around then. Okay. But I'm just like, it's going to help. Yeah. Did it help? Oh, yeah. Once you started fighting? Yeah. Even though you didn't have any tattoos or anything, right? No. Not when I was 16. Right. It just gave you that confidence. Yeah. Like a whoop someone's ass. But I was still even 16, 17. I was like so small and and like just insecure. And uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't. Even when you were playing football? Oh yeah, I was tiny. I never. I always like give me the ball, right? To score, hundred percent. What position? Wide receiver, just the little guy. Position, yeah, you know, put him over there. Yeah, yeah. Defensive back. I still think defensive backs are one of the best, like some of the best athletes in the world, though. But when you were playing football for what was it, your high school? Yeah, you weren't getting girls. Not from football, no. Really, I feel. No, I feel like that's like yeah. the American. No, I, you walk around with that jacket. No, I. I never was you there. I never, I never played varsity. I went to high school uh, like freshman sophomore year, and I. I didn't play. I played like junior varsity was like the highest I played, and then. Okay. Uh, then yeah, quit quit that. Okay. Someone. Uh, who's it? Oh, yo, I was looking at my th- Marlon Vera keeps calling me. Actually. On Facetime, look. Answer it. Should I answer it? Marlon, I'm live on the show right now. Oh, and action's here. I got, I got Sean right there. Hey, what are you doing? I, I mean, you're not the guy. Why you wanna be famous? You wanna get pages? You fucking pussy. Uh-huh. What you wanna get, dudes? I. I mean, you don't get pussy before you're famous. You fucking bitch. Oh, I got pussy before I was famous, champ. Seems like you're not because that's what you're talking right now. You wanna, you wanna get pussy when you're famous? You fucking fucking weak. Okay. <laughs> you gotta work on that sh- t- uh, shit talk, bud. I mean, I don't need to talk. I don't need to work about it. I do a lot of work about it. Uh, Marlon, it's good to see you. I want to give uh, the champion his respect. No, let him keep talking, but he's oh, you stupid. Want? It just sounds funny. Keep talking. Which champion? You just sound st- Huh? The, the, the bantamweight champ. You, you guys are fighting in March, right? UFC 299? Oh, we are? Oh, that's nice. It was just announced. Oh, really? That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Keep talking. He sounds stupid. It's funny. Well, we'll hey, s- yes. Give me some uh, promotions. You can get some pussy. <laughs> okay. Keep it up. Keep it up, boy. All right. 
Uh, Marlon, you're the man. Good to see you. Say hello to Action. Oh, he's right here. Look. Yes, a he's with Action Bronson. Do you know Action Bronson? A singer? Yeah, there he is. Hey, Action, how are you? We'll see you soon, okay? Wow, they have us on the big screen here. All right, wow. guys. Good, good, to, good to see you. Peace. Peace. <laughs> uh, he blew you a kiss. Uh, I don't think the kiss was for I think me. it was for you. Because um, he doesn't want to get bitches. He wants to get, you know. Oh, want. yes, he was calling me because someone kept calling me. And I, yeah. Uh, I, it was a, probably, that's probably who it was, actually. That yeah. was, yeah. That's crazy. What do you think of that? Um... I mean, for a dude to want to get bitches, I think that's pretty normal. If he doesn't want to, I mean, hey, everyone swings their own way, does their own thing. <laughs> if he doesn't like that, you don't like I, that. I actually oh, really like the dynamic between you two. What do you mean? I don't know. You guys have a good, like, there's a there's a good friendly rivalry there. I don't I know. How, call it a friendly. There's, there's, it's healthy. I like, there's there's tension. You both you both have, have, have fought. Uh, you know, there's some dispute on your end as to what happened towards the end of the fight. Let's settle it. Oh, I can't wait. At the top of the oh. mountain with the biggest prize at oh, stake. I can't wait, Ariel. Oh. How much better are you now than you were a few years ago when I you fought him? I would whooped his ass then, too. I did whoop his ass then, too. But how much better am I am 2020? You know what's crazy is I fought him 2020 of August. Mm -hmm. And I became champ 2023 of August. Right. Before he had ever fought for the belt. Isn't that crazy? Um, how much better? I, you know. I feel like I'm getting better, you know. Why, why can't you concede, like, the, the result of the fight? Why does that... It's just... Why hasn't, he, why hasn't that happened any... I mean, I guess it happens every once in a while, that nerve, right? Yeah. Nerve. It's happened to... It happened times. to Henry and DJ. But and how many times... Michael Chandler. How many times... It, that was within, like, what, five, six years span? Like, it doesn't happen that much. Sure, sure. And uh, if it happens again, then I'll never... I'll say, all right, I lost twice. If, it, if he kicks me in the nerve again, if it happens again, I'll, I'll say, all right, he's doing some shit. Right. He knows what he's doing. But I just feel like it was so lucky, and he knows it. Like, he truly deep down knows it. That the shot that... That was so lucky. <laughs> I, he's genuinely scared of me. I know you're watching, Cheeto. I, you know I'm way too fast for you. You ain't going to be able to do shit to me, bud. He knows it. You think he's scared, though? I think he's very nervous for this fight, 100%. He's too slow. What is he gonna, I'm going to piece him up. He's had some good performances. When? Uh, well, you know. He lost to Dominic Cruz. He lost to Frankie Edgar. Now, what, what, are <laughs> what are you he talking about? He lost all those fights. He, I was like, first of all, did I not watch the Dominic Cruz? I was like, but he knocked out Dominic Cruz. It was did like he? the knockout of the year. What? Of so it was the Frankie. It was a pretty incredible. I mean, the Frankie one might have been better. Yeah. He lost 14 minutes that fight. Yeah, but sometimes it takes some time to, you know, some people start slow, yeah. download the information, like they say, I in the business. I, no, I know. You know what that's like. Yeah. No, I don't. I no, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. No, it, it gets to happen, though. March, wherever it's at. Oof. What's the ideal spot for it? Um, You know, I like Vegas. I love fighting in Vegas. Okay. Maybe the Sphere. Maybe, sphere. That'd be sick. That'd, that'd be, be crazy. Sick. Yeah. I thought maybe you'd want Arizona. Arizona would be cool. I don't care. I heard they were going to Arizona in February. They might be. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense, at least for me, because I would think you'd want the Arizona guy fighting in Arizona. But it doesn't really yeah. matter, right, at this yeah. point? Yeah, UFC knows what they're doing. Right, right, right. They're smart, even though... Uh, were you ho you're 299. Were you hoping to be 300? No. Oh, I, I'm my, I need my own card. Okay, you yeah. didn't want all that pomp no. and circumstance. No, no. Really, a lot of people, I think, would say 300. Well, a lot of... Yeah, I mean, they want the more publicity. I, I, I feel like you fight on a... If, if Connor fights for UFC 300, it's like... It's 100% Connor heavy, like... Right. So... You know, I want my own show, UFC 299. Do you, do you want a loaded card so you can get those pay-per-view points? I mean, it'll be, yeah, I guess. I feel like it's going to do really, really well regardless. if it, You know, me versus Cheeto is going to do really well. Yeah. Um, the, who else could you put on there to load it? It'd be nice, yeah. Throw on a, a sweet co-main event. That'd be cool. I, I don't watch any of the fights before my fight. Sure. I really, so it doesn't really... You turn off the TV? No, I let the boys watch it. The okay. boys watch it, yeah. I, I usually have... I'll have my... I don't even know if I had my AirPods in or... I don't remember. I was walking around, breathing. Mm. Meditating. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go back to the Montana thing because I saw you with the Montana football team. Oh, sweet. That, uh, that must have been incredible for a kid who initially wanted to be a football player. Yeah. Now you're being invited back yeah. to talk to University of Montana, right? Yeah. Were, were you giving them, like, the, the speech? No. What no. was that? There you are. <laughs> no, after the, after the game, yeah, I ran into the locker room with them. A little drunk, a little tipsy, had a couple shots. I sat, I got on my knee. I was just one of the one of the boys, one of the football players. Incredible! I felt like I scored the game-winning touchdown. 
<laughs> it was crazy. And then you guys were singing Superstar, right? Yep, yep. Throw on Superstar in there. Yo, to get love from the, uh, you know, from the, the the state team. Yeah, that was cool. That's pretty that, cool. That stadium was crazy too. That was, uh, yeah, su- super loud. It was fun. It was a good time. Did they invite you? There you are, hanging out with the guys. <laughs> Did they invite you as a guest? Yeah, to raise the 37th flag. Um, What's the 37? You know, I still really don't know too okay. much about it. But okay. I did that. And, uh, you know, they're playing the Bobcats in a couple of weeks. I might go back down to that. I'm not wow. sure yet, but I might. Do you get a lot of love when you go back to Montana? Yeah, I get love everywhere. Yeah. yeah. No, but just because that's your home. Yeah. Do you yeah. go back a lot? No, not very often. No. Do you have family there? My dad's the only one there. Oh, yeah. really? Everyone else, I moved down to Arizona. Mom, wow. two brothers, sister, everyone else. Yeah, everyone lives in Arizona. Dad's the only one stuck in Montana. Uh, why Why didn't he move? I've been asking him that, too. Okay. You would like for him to move. Are you guys close? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I talk to my dad pretty much every day. Does he come to your fights? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's yeah. always there. What about your he mom? He was all my, uh, all my amateur fights, all my pro fights. Um, they got, Yeah, my mom went to... My mom started going more recent, like once I got in the UFC. She never was a huge fan. She still can't really watch. Right. Um, but yeah, they went to the Abu Dhabi fight. Yeah. Wow. They go to all of them. Uh, and siblings, how many? Two brothers and a sister. Do any of them fight? No. No, no, no. Don't care? No, no. interest? Yeah, no interest. What do they do? Like regular shit? Yeah. Wow. Just normal. Just normal regular people. people. Yeah. They didn't want to be famous? No, probably not. Do I they, don't know what it is, yeah. Do they think it's wild what you've become? Oh, or, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's funny because I, I remember telling them stuff like I, about what I wanted to do, wanted to do and stuff. And they were like, it was kind of like, write, write it off. But uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. They still think it's kind of wild. Do they go to your fights? Oh, yeah. Every, so everyone, so you have support from everyone. Yeah. Incredible. Look at you. It's all coming together for you. It is. You said on Twitter, end of 2024, you'll be the biggest thing in combat sports. Yeah. I love the thing that you did. <laughs> comment uh, something I negative. Should've, I shouldn't even have commented that. I should have left it right at that. Boom. No, because be I biggest. feel like that shuts everyone up. It was kind of silly, but yeah, I'm gonna be the biggest, the stu- biggest, biggest name, name in sports. Sorry, I said combat. No, no, yeah, sport. I did. I, I, you know what's funny is I put combat sports in there and I deleted it before I posted. I will be the biggest name in sports. Yeah, you think so? End of, end 2024. of 2024. Yeah. 2024 yeah. So I go out there, knock out Cheeto. Yeah. I get one more fight, end of the year, win that. Two and two and two and 2024. I, I believe I'll be the biggest name in sports, you know? yeah. especially if you do it in a spectacular fashion, not right. boring like Cheeto or Pedro. Like that was super boring. Like I can't have performances like that. That'd, mm-hmm. that'd be embarrassing. I don't. I definitely don't want to do that. That's not but how you become a. Eventually, you know, though, as the competition gets tougher, the fights are going to get. Aljo, what do you mean? Yeah. That's the toughest fight in the division. No, I know, but it's that, a, was the tough, that was the number one guy in the division. I was like, this is this guy's the biggest problem, Aljo. More than Marab. Yeah. Really? It, yeah, Marab. I mean, Aljo, his wrestling is so high level and his grappling is so high level. Not that Marab's not. Mm-hmm. Marab's not much of a, you know, he's not a jiu-jitsu guy. Aljo was dangerous, 100%. Aljo would smoke Cheeto. You think so? Yeah. Smoke him? Yeah, I do. I really? think Aljo would finish Cheeto, yeah. It's a close fight. You don't think so? I mean, I mean, it could be a close fight. Cheeto's tough. He's durable. He's slow. He's tough. I mean, it, it wouldn't be an easy fight for Aljo. <laughs> he's terrible, but, he's slow, he's tough. Yeah. Is there any chance you're underestimating him? I know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I talk shit. I know how good he is. I'm not yeah. going to go out. I'm not going to have a lazy training camp. I'm right. not going to act like this is an easy fight. Every fight in the UFC, even the guys that aren't in the top 15, they could be tough fights. So I'm definitely not underestimating him. I'm going to talk my shit, and I'm going to say how I feel. He's too slow. I'm going to beat his ass. But I'm going to take him you know, as, as serious as I've taken every guy. Mm. You know. What do you think he does really well? Um, it's not talk. Um, what is he doing? Really, he's, he's durable, dude. He's just tough. He's he's he he can keep getting punched. It's a very, you know, like that Chris Mantino. It's like not a great thing to be known right, for. Right. It's like, oh, he's really durable. Like if that's what people say about you, the first thing, you know, that's not good. But did you, did you watch the Sanhagen fight? Sanhagen versus Cheeto. Oh, yeah, what was I your did. assessment of like what went wrong that night? I, I I hope that Cheeto shows up. That'd be funny. Um, it was su- it was super weird because I know Cheeto's good. It was yeah, it was uncharacteristic. Belt, really, yeah. you know, he's good off his back. I thought he was. Um, you know, I thought he was a good, decent wrestler. It was yeah, just a, that was a super super off night. It was crazy. He didn't even it. It was embarrassing. It, like I'm sure he like hates to even think about that fight because that was so embarrassing he's got taken down couldn't get up Corey's not a wrestler he has good wrestling he you know he's definitely improved but he couldn't even get get up at all i don't even think he tried mm. it was an embarrassing performance and he would, i don't think he would disagree with that i think he would sit right here 
and say, yeah, it was it was embarrassing. So you say two fights in 2024. Who do you think the second one will be? I don't know. I don't know. Does Elia go out there and get the job done? We'll see. Oh, that's a fight I would like. At 145. Yeah. Wow. Why yeah. do you say Ilya and not Alex? Volk. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> not interested in fighting Volk. Really? Why? Yeah. Just don't like that fight. Don't like it for you. Yeah. Maybe I will someday. Style matchup wise, or yeah, a couple, style matchup. He just. I don't know, Volk just seems like a, You know how Justin said he don't want to fight Max? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of feel like that about Volk. Interesting. He's like... You like him? I like Volk. He's a good dude. Um, but Ilya, it's not that I don't like him. I wouldn't mind fighting Ilya, though. I think that would be an interesting matchup if he can go out there and get, get through Volk. Do you think they would do something like that? Because I just feel like there's so many guys at 35 that are interesting fights for you, and you've just kind of scratched the well, surface. I would go back. I wouldn't stay at 45. Right, right. Yeah, no, I would love to go... I mean, ideally, go, you know, KO Cheeto... Elia wins, I fight Elia, go back to 35, maybe go box for a little bit, you know. Like yeah, you versus things. Tank, I, I get what the UFC is saying, but you versus Tank Davis would do incredible I would, incredible like, I would love that fight, yeah. Yeah, I would love that. That would do That would do over a million pay-per-views easy. Yeah. So I, I don't know what so. they're talking about in terms of, like I get, Devin, Devin Haney isn't the biggest name, but he's actually quite popular in boxing. Shakur Stevenson is a rising star and is going to be a big name. Tank is like a legit superstar. Yeah. You versus Tank would be gigantic. Yeah, I, I need to go. I need to watch. Haney. You versus Ryan would be. Me versus Ryan, big too. I, I think so too. I always said I, before that fight happened, I was like, I was calling out Ryan, but then Tank won. I was like, well, I can't call out the loser, so I got to call out Tank. You know? Sure, sure. And again, that motherfucker's five three, dude. But he hits real hard. Does he? You saw what he did to Ryan. Yeah, no, he definitely does. But uh, I just like that fight. No, I think it would be great. I just don't know if it happens. Now maybe there's maybe more of an appetite after what Francis did. Um, yeah. You like the influencer stuff too. I see you tweeting about it. I, I mean, there's cert certain influencers. You stuff. You were watching, yeah. right? You know, I watched... In Manchester? Uh, yeah, I was watching. Logan and Dylan? Yeah, I watched that. You know what fight was actually... The only... The, sweet fight, the sweetest fight on that was Slim... Um, yeah, yeah. Slim... What's his name? Uh, or just Slim. Slim, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Slim versus Salt Poppy. Yeah. That was entertaining. You liked it? Yeah, Slim was getting... Salt Poppy was dotting him up. And then, you know, Slim came back, showed some heart. I thought that was impressive. I thought that was, you know, fun to watch. Um, Did you I watch? I don't know what they do as far as influencers. I don't know what kind of content they make. Sure. So I was just watching the card, kind of like... Uh, was that the first one you watched, Misfits? Um, I, I don't know if any of the... I watched Jake versus... Jake, yeah. Jake, that was a Misfits. So Misfits is... I haven't really watched any of the Misfits. Unless they're the, like, like the Jake. rival to Jake's organization. Oh, okay. That's KSI. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with the promotion. So sure, I just sure. Like watching, you know. Uh, watching you said something game. about KSI's. Uh, oh, his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> fucking wild, bro. I like. I've never met KSI. I like KSI. He's a good guy. He's I always a... joke about his forehead, but that because I see it and I'm just like that thing is fucking. That was not a good fight. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. Just threw a right hand and clinched. Right hand and clinched. It'd be, it'd be tricky. I bet Tommy was like. It was probably tough. Tricky for Tommy to kind of get a rhythm because it was like bounced, right hand clinch. It was his style also for boxing is super weird, right? Yeah, he could be very effective. I just think he's not a he doesn't have enough tricks, he doesn't have enough skills. He has a lot of potential, right? But he just kind of only had a couple go tos, you know. Once you get experience, you have, you know, you have so many different little tricks, little tips, little little ways, little entries, feints, and you can you know start building off that. But I just don't think he has enough of that yet. Mm. But I think he, he could be good. What do you think of Logan? Logan looked really good. Logan was punching. Pun Logan looked really good. I was impressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you Would you suggest? Like, do you ever watch him in pro wrestling? <sighs> I see clips. I seen he won or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just won the belt. I just can't watch pro, pro wrestling. You don't like it. I don't. I mean, I def definitely don't. I guess just you like, say I don't like it. The the, the athleticism. It's so crazy. What he does, does it's very impressive. For a dude who's been doing this for a year and a half, I've never seen anything it's like wild. it. Wild. The shit he's that's yes. shit I seen on Instagram backflipping with people. Yes. Like that's very impressive. But as far as like the whole sport of it, like no, I get I that. Can't follow it. I get. He actually uh, really saved the the guy he was wrestling, Rey Mysterio. Mm -hmm. He saved him from getting super injured because the guy did a, a backflip off the the ropes and was landing on his head, and he caught him. <laughs> He like sat down and caught him a split second. If he doesn't have the presence of mind, that guy is landing on his head yeah. and potentially something horrible is happening. That's, yeah. For a dude who's been, I asked, I asked a, a, a long time WWE veteran, like what, what is your assessment of this? What, huh. Am I not seeing the right thing? And he's like, no, I buy him a steak dinner. He <sighs> saved him. That's, that's a serious injury. Yes. Saved his life. Yes. That, and that's a legend. Impressive. 
uh, Rey Mysterio, the guy he he wrestled, is a legend. You, you never heard of him? Never. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Rey Mysterio. I, I hardly watched UFC, let alone the, you know Pro WWE. Wrestling. Yeah. John Cena. I've heard. Of, oh, you know what's crazy? John Cena. I was at the coffee shop out by my house, and I walked. It, I was going out of the bathroom. It's just one of those ones where it's a single bathroom, and it was. I was opening it as he was coming in. Wow. So we had the handle at the same time. <laughs> but we didn't, I, I mean, I didn't, I don't know if he knows who I am, and I didn't, couldn't put it together right away. So I went, went and ordered my coffee, and I was sitting there, and, and then he walked back around. I'm like, why the fuck does he look so familiar? And then it hit me. I was like, oh, that's John Cena. And I looked it up. They had an event in Arizona. Wow. Um, but yeah, that, that was crazy timing. Did you say hi to him? I didn't. No. No. Didn't the Rock? Show well, you? I still I didn't. I wasn't 100 percent sure until I left, and I looked uh, up like, okay, is, he is in Arizona, but yeah. The Rock show you love? He should. He should. I thought he did. Maybe I'm wrong I about that. Seen it. He's a big MMA fan, so I know that you know he's always uh, showing everyone love. But anyway, uh, back to Logan. Logan's incredible. Would you would you suggest to him that he continue boxing? I would love to see Logan keep boxing. Yeah, I think he's got. I mean, even when he fought Floyd, I was like, he's got some skill. Logan versus Jake. I don't. I don't know. I don't no, like no, that fight. No, weird. I don't like that fight. See, sometimes they fight, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't. I. I I'd watch. Yeah. I'd watch. I would. Uh. I'd make a video about it. You know, <laughs> I would watch it. I'd create content around it. But I don't know how I feel about that. I just Everyone's creating content around these guys, and it kills, right? Like yeah. the Danis fight was yeah. killing. Yeah, that was bad. Should the UFC sign Danis? I want to see it. You do. I give him one. Give him one fight. Give him the best. Whoever you want to give him, he loses. That guy, whoever beats him, you know, you got contender you got series, or do you put him on like a main? I feel like they'll put him on the contender series. <laughs> Make it ten and ten, <laughs> I don't know, five and five, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to see him in the UFC. Give him someone. Give him someone on a pay per view. Fuck it, not Would, main, but sure, sure. I, I or I was saying, put him on Connor's card. Oh. Have him open up go. the pay per view first fight. <laughs> Connor's card, right? Be, yeah. Who do you give him? UFC three hundred. Yeah, imagine he goes out there and subs some dude, and then UFC's got got a. Why not? I mean, he's he is a well known guy. Yeah. And his social following, for better or worse, is quite large now. Yeah. His tweets. His tweets, tweets? Too crazy. Do you yeah. think he crossed the line? Um, I, I don't, I, I don't, I wouldn't do that. But I don't think. I mean, teach their own. If someone did that I mean? to you, how would you feel? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you cross line. I, I don't want to bring family into it. Sure. Yeah. So I feel like it. I just. But I don't. I don't. I don't think he's a bad person for doing it necessarily. Is there something to be said for doing all that and then like not fighting? I. I think he. He either knew he was just gonna lose, or he was he thought Logan for whatever reason was gonna just suck. Right. I don't know what he was thinking, but I think he probably just needed some cheddar because how is he making money? But prior to this. Huh? Prior to this fight, yeah. how was he making money? Yeah, I mean, he was on the. He had not fought since 2019. He needed, he needed some money, so of course, like he was gonna. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. He didn't get any pay per view or nothing, so he probably didn't even make that much. Right. To be honest, and the pay per view apparently did pretty well. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Over a million. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's Worldwide. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, it's good to hear that you want. Uh, that I, I think that they should sign him. Yeah. Uh, I think so. a guy with that kind of following. Yeah. All the kids know him now. Yep. He's on uh, all the different, you know, no He's such a, everyone hates him. And it's like a perfect person to sign. Because even if he goes out there and loses, whoever fights him is going to be potentially could be a star. Right. If they, you know, if they, if that person uses the mic wisely, uses the camera time, the fight week, the build up, the post, you know, post fight wisely, a person could be a star just from beating him. Are you surprised that more people don't get that part of the game? I feel like I am a little bit surprised, but I also think it's just part of who you are. Who you are as a person. Either you have it or you don't. Yeah, I think you could definitely, you can definitely not have it and still become somewhat of a star. I don't know if you'll ever be like a superstar. Like I think you have to, you have that or you don't to be a superstar. But you could not really quite have it, but still become somewhat of a star and make some good money. Um, You have to do all that. Like Cheeto's not like a superstar, but he's doing a good job. He's kind of like a star for 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 what he's done. Would you fight him in Ecuador? Oh, yeah. You would? I would love that. Uh, Ecuador? I don't even know where that's at. It's somewhere uh, over there? Yeah, down here. Somewhere down there? All the way. That would be insane. Yeah. You would, you would do this. If the UFC called you up right now and said, I know it's your Why first. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. Because I think some people would say. Is that a field advantage for him? I think. Where does he live? Uh, currently in California. Huh. 
but he is a proud Ecuadorian. I saw a video of him going back there. All the kids were surrounding him and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. That's yeah. Good. No, it's great. Yeah, but I would, I mean, I don't really, I, you don't care about that stuff. No. Yeah, that would be insane. Knocking him out in Ecuador would be even better. Wow. Not, not a lot right of there. champions would say that, by the way. You know this, right? That they don't want to fight. fight their opponent in their opponent's home country. I, I'm going to knock him out, so it doesn't really matter where we fight. Mm. I don't really. Hostile territory. I would be loved there. You think so? Yeah. You think you'd get more love than him? I, mean, I don't know if I get more love, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like Boston. Right. That was crazy. That was wild. Like if you weren't there, if you didn't experience that crowd, that was that was insane. Uh, I don't. It would it would it wouldn't be like that. I right. feel like I would still get some love there. Yeah. It, it, it is crazy. Uh, as I told you, I was in Israel when when you fought. Uh, I, had to, I woke up six a.m., seven a.m., whenever the time mm-hmm. difference. And I couldn't believe how many people, like, I felt like I was witnessing something. The amount of people that came up to me on the street, sugar show, sugar, yeah. I was like, wow, this is crazy, man. Like, yeah. to see the reach of not only the sport, but of you in particular, and to see how happy people were for you all the way there That's was sweet. insane. Like, five, six people in Israel, and, like, your fight's happening in the middle of the night, morning. Yeah. Uh, it felt like a moment. You know that we're actually waking up for Ian Gary, though, right? <laughs> you saw that? He was, uh, yeah, he, that was funny. I like Ian, but that one was out of pocket. That was great. <laughs> that was a reach, bro. I feel like he said that, and then it was like, fuck. No, I think Why he I believed it. That? There's I no think way he believed that. He thought people were waking up for him, not my fight? Yeah, that's, I think he said that, yeah. No, he definitely said yeah, that. No. He didn't mean it. I like Ian. I've seen him you after. You talked to him? Uh, I haven't really talked. Well, we, I thought that we were kind of like boys before that, but then he started throwing throwing shade like that. But That pissed you off? It didn't piss me off, but it's like, I get it. You know, you're trying to... He's a cocky young man. Yeah, I get it. I fucking... He's good. Yeah. He's really good. I'm excited. He's got a sweet fight coming up. Yeah, you think he wins? He's fighting Vincent, right? Yeah, Luque. Vicente Luque. Vicente. Um, very well could win, yeah. Very good. I could see him getting the job done. He, I mean, he didn't finish Neil, though, right? Neil's tough. Yeah, he's tough. Short notice. I was tough. I was just tough. Who were they waking up for? That one was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw that. I was giggling. I had to make sure it was him saying it, not one of those fake tweet accounts oh yeah yeah. i'm like there's no way he actually said that he did he He really did he did but hey you got to be somewhat delusional i get it i'm 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 delusional that's the key to success and i think it's a small small uh ingredient right yeah uh are you going to msg this weekend no you're not going no you're just here for media and then you're going home wow yeah and you said you got to start with the biggest show first yeah, yeah i say i did you're the thick there hey i got up early to keep to make it here i know I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. I but wanted to. Why aren't you? I thank you. Why, why aren't you sticking around? I just I need to get back. You'd rather to work. be home. I got a fight. I got a yeah. fight book. You don't like to take it all in, and I mean the fight is in like four months. Got work to do. You don't want to be put there. Put row with everyone. No, I don't really care about that stuff. No, I feel like I've kind of. I feel like a superstar now. I don't really feel like a star anymore. I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a superstar. You know, Cheeto's gonna be sitting there, like when the camera's like he's trying to get in there, like trying to get his little face in there. I'm over that. I don't. I don't need that right now. You know, and he does need that. And that's good. He should should be there trying to get on camera time. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think I'm sticking around. Okay. Uh, what, what do you th- What do you think? What's the official prediction? Um, I think Alex. Wow. Well, Oh, you're giving me that. I was talking about your fight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that official prediction. I was know. trying to save you because Yuri's like standing right there. I was gonna say I think Yuri takes him. Out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, Alex versus Yuri. I don't know. That's gonna be a sweet fight. I'm gonna sit and watch on my couch. The best seat in the. In the yeah, league. I agree. Uh, but me versus Cheeto, you know, Cheeto is very tough. He will be hard to knock out. Like I know that. I don't think he's gonna go out there take you know a couple shots, you know. But it really. Aljo's hard to knock out too. I found his chin. So I know what I'm capable of. Um, very excited. Very excited about that fight. I think of the first quarter fights, title fights, that's the one I'm, I'm you know, Dana announced uh, a bunch today. Yep. We also know that a bunch are to come. That's the one. I, I would be, I'm pretty confident mine, mine's the biggest pay per view out of those three. Mm-hmm. Alex Elia, huge fight. I'm very excited for that. I'm, I'm going to be watching that one closely. Um, Strickland versus DDP. I would say that one. That's a you know, good fight. Not not crazy. It's not like a crazy pay per view. At least the main headliner. Yeah. Um, no, yours is the biggest draw for sure. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, pay per view points. Th- yeah, yes, <sighs> finally. Um, thank you. By the way, those gloves. Can people buy them? I think. Uh, I don't know if he's releasing just a certain amount each time, or if they're just 
gonna sell out right away. Okay. Uh, I should have a better answer for you, but sure. All right. Sandable. But the merch. Uh, you, did you see our boy Connor back yep, there? Yeah, getting wearing... knocks. Got the yeah. sugar purple. I like that. He loves. He loves your store. You're killing it over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The shop is tremendous. Everything you're doing. It's Appreciate all coming it. together. Yeah. Started early. Just been building a little empire. And now it's all coming to fruition. Yeah. Well done. Uh, thank you for doing this. I really appreciate Fuck it. it uh, you're the man. Uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley returning in March. Date TBD. Location TBD. But we know it's official. He is fighting Cheeto Vera for the bantamweight title. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to bring in Yuri Prochaska in a second. What about what a lineup here on yeah. the show, right? Yeah. I mean, back to back. Two, two of the champs. biggest dudes in the game. Yeah.